happens is, you know, you bring Jeremy Yost. Everybody knows Jeremy Yost by now, 180 pound weight loss guy. Of course, we got um, Richard Neal, one of the finalists, 200 and something. After 200, you don't even care anymore, you know, and it's just surreal, it's just amazing. And so what happens is you've got people on the show and you get these folks that call in, right? And they say, Tony, this is the first product that ever worked. I've done this, this, and this. I've done this sort of myopic fitness my entire life, going to the gym, doing the same old stuff. I got your thing. And holy crap, I'm 45, and for the first time in my life, I look better than I did when I was a teenager. So when you get those kinds of phone calls, and you have those kinds of live stories, and you're on, you know, you're on television, it's, you know, QVC is live around the world. Which when you think about that for a second, it's kind of crazy, right? And so people just go, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. I want that thing. <laughs> beep, boop, boop, boop. Give it to me. Right? And so when... The crazy thing is you go on QVC expecting to, s to sell 10 of them and you sell $2 million worth in a couple of days. It just goes to show you, you. that the X in P90X Extreme is not something to shy away from. It's something to attack and go after because the modifications are there, right? I mean, let's face it. There are three reasons why P90X works. Muscle confusion, number one, right? It's not the same thing day in and day out. It's mixing it up. It's not climbing a ladder. It's like climbing a rock wall. Two, the modifications. That's everything. You don't have to do this on the first day, right? You do it on day 75. And three, me. <laughs> Me and my ego, <laughs> walking around. I'm sorry, that door's too narrow for me. I can't get through <laughs> But what I mean by that is, me, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> this is you telling me about me while I pat myself on the back and how awesome I am. No, but you know what? I made it fun. See, a lot of trainers take this whole fitness thing really seriously because I'm a trainer and I've got to have this personality that says I'm going to kick your ass. Right? <laughs> but I said, you know what? Let's, do, let's throw a pterodactyl in. Hey, Scott Pfeiffer, what's your soup? Okra. <laughs> Jamming potato soup. Yeah. Yeah. Tip of the day, don't smash your face. <laughs> you know? Because let's face it, working out sucks. It's hard. It takes energy and effort and time and energy and all these different things. And sometimes you're uncomfortable and sometimes you can't do certain exercises. And that's kind of how it's supposed to be but for the average person who doesn't play professional soccer, all right, who's really a soccer mom, then they have to have variations and they have to have modifications and they have to have muscle confusion because that's what gets people in shape in 90 days. We've seen it. There's 100 pound loss stories, 200 pound loss stories, people who are off their meds for the first time, people who, you know, there was a kid I met yesterday. Are you here? He was a quadriplegic and he used P90X to do backflips. Where is he? Right there, dude. I mean, you tell me that story and I, I can't even believe it. I mean, he was supposed to go into surgery. The doctor says, that's it. Now I'll do P90X. It cures cancer. And <laughs> diabetes. I mean, you know, diabetes is a disease that we give ourselves based on the fact that we can't control this and this. This thing, the only, you know, it's not like somebody takes that thing and goes, son of a bitch. <laughs> You're in a ball game. Whoa! Is that a hot dog? Damn! Well. <laughs> so, you know, all we're trying to do here in Beach Body Land, I don't care if it's Turbo Fire or Rev Abs or Slim and Six or Insanity or P90X, all we're asking you to do as a community, as Team Beach Body, as coaches, is to make choices every single day that are better than the ones that you used to make. Because the ones that you used to make used to take that aging clock and go like this. Right? Let's speed up the process so you look like crap sooner than you need to. And you know what? Why not continue the trend of obesity? Because that's all you know because you don't have good information because what's going on at the gym doesn't really work. Right? And there are other programs that are, you know, <coughs> CrossFit and other things like that. That's why I had a cough. That was weird. I had a little cough. <laughs> that it really focused more on ego training and, you know, hey, you do CrossFit, is that, a, is that a cast? What do you got going on? Yeah, I try to roll, you know, 100-pound tires up a hill while wearing cleats, you know, we covered in freaking cream. I don't even, you know, it's like, whatever. I don't know. 
I get so much crap for giving CrossFit a hard time. But you know, the thing is, if you like CrossFit and you do it well, and you take your ego out of the equation, chances are, if you stay fit, and you stay healthy, and you stay uninjured, do your CrossFit, I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, I mean it, I really do. So, um, you know, then after P90X, after the power of P90X is having sold millions and millions of copies of those, uh, it was time for X2, you know, because there were, you know, when I when I when I'm doing my fitness, when I'm you know trying new things like today, um, only for like the third time, I tried this new pull-up called the five and five pull-up, and it's the complete. Let's say it's the complete opposite of a CrossFit pull-up. You know, CrossFit pull-up. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a jerky. You know, it's like you're having sex with yourself up there. I don't know. What, I don't know what that is. I'm a little more R-rated in person, you know what I mean? And there ain't no editing or pause button here, boys. But the five and five is a, is a, is a pull-up, and you can try this at home. You hang for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. So each one at the top and the bottom counts as a rep. They're hardish. <laughs> but what they do is they help the body learn how to get better at regular pull-ups because the range of motion is full, right? You're having to hold it at the top, so you're using the ends of the muscle that you wouldn't normally use in a regular pull-up because most people's range of motion is kind of short. It really depends on the person, but you know, so many people are thinking numbers. I can do 30. Like I had a fitness camp and this kid showed up. Yeah, man, I'm up to 40 pull-ups now. And I looked at him and he was lean. He looked good. 40? Yeah, man, I'm knocking out 40. Wow, so I, at the camp he showed up. <laughs> I, so I, I said, I'll count for you. So he was doing them, and here's this, this is me counting. Zero, 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 zero. zero. I, what, what are you doing? I haven't seen one. When I see one, I'll count one. So he went all the way down, he dislocated his shoulder. But anyway, I get that response every time. <laughs> That's why there's yoga in P90X. Oh, who here has done P90X and got that yoga DVD and just said, the hell with it, I'm going to do cardio instead. Raise your hand. You know, I, it's a funny thing, and I'm going to talk about the yoga for a second before we go into X2, but I knew about yoga for years, like five or six years, you know, but when I was a kid, it wasn't really even, you know, on the radar. You know, yoga is one of these things that Indian folks did in another country. It just didn't exist. I, you know, closest thing I got to yoga was yogurt. <laughs> that was really close, but they weren't even the same thing. And then, you know, um, I was, there was this gal that I met that I, I was somewhat attracted to. And I do yoga. Do you do the yoga? Yeah, all the time. Sure. <laughs> really? What kind? I do the, uh, you know, I do the yoga kind of yoga. I don't, I don't know what she was talking about. But I went with a class and I was in Downward Dog and, uh, I was in Downward Dog for 30 seconds and I thought my spine was going to shoot across the room. I never, I thought, why is this so hard? Drip, uh, uh, sweat pouring off my face, you know, 50, 15 minutes into the class. Just, you know, I'm here thinking, oh shit. Why is this so hard? Why can't I just, you know, chill here? It was a great lesson for me because I've been, I was so into this lift as much weight as you could mentality. You know, I was into this run as fast as you could. It had to be fast and furious and frenetic. It had to be all that punching, kicking, jumping, running, squatting, you know, doing 15 sets of, you know, calf raises. What the <laughs> hell? You know, and that was fine because it was certainly better than, than sitting at home watching American Idol. And what does that make you if you're watching American Idol? An Idol American, that's what it makes you. <laughs> So, you know, and then I learned something new about fitness, and that's what P90X is. It's a 20-year education. Um, and then after having done that and having great success with that and knowing how well, you know, people were doing with that, it was time for X2. And so what we re realized was that we took grandmothers and professional athletes and actors and moms and dads and grandparents and you name it. We took all these different people who all did P90X for different reasons, and we said, let's make them into athletes now. All right? It's not a weightlifting program. Like people are saying, Tony, with X2, how do I get bigger biceps? <laughs> Don't do it. Because it's not about your, your bigger biceps. It's your ability to be able to do, you know, boom. things that athletes do. Th athletes move in multiple directions. They move left. You know, they move right. 
and uh, they're doing levers. You know, I wish the pull-up bar was here. But, um, wait, I could run out down, down there right now and do one. But, you know, it was moving like a gymnast, moving like a professional athlete, moving like a soccer player, uh, doing the kind of training that hockey players do. And so what it does is it works on all those stabilizing muscles, the ones that are connecting the big ones, that are attached to the joints and attached to this core part. We're calling this the core because we understand that everything about fitness comes from here out. From here out, it comes from the center, it comes from this stuff. Oh, oh. All right, so um, there's not much time left, and I guess it's time for our contest, is that right? Is that right, contest time? Who, who is even aware about this contest? Does anyone even know what this is? We were, it was not announced, so whoever organized it, I'm going to go beat them later. So the contest is this, and it's the reason why these are out here. If you have P90X2, <laughs> there's a move called the Impossible Possible. Settle. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's gonna roll away. Oh, these are nice and slick, so that'll make it easy. <laughs> so, what is the information that one needs? Who has P90X2? Raise your hand. <laughs> so, who still can't do this yet? If you've got P90X2, just like a mother, right? What's he thinking? Who's, who went from clueless to, I'm getting it now. Can you throw out some numbers? What's your best, what's your number? Eight. How many can you do? Ten? You get nine? Ten? Ten. Ten? Eighteen. Eighteen. Where's that number coming from? Eighteen. Well, then you better enter this contest. All right, so this is it. See, the one thing about P90X2, which is different than... You know, other programs that you just get your legs moving, get your heart moving, which are great, you know what I mean? We're taking it two steps higher. And we want you to learn how to make fitness more like, um, you know, more fun, you know, where it takes time. You have to, like P90X, for example, a lot of those moves you couldn't do initially, right? Couldn't do them, couldn't do them, couldn't do them. The reason why it's 90 days is because we don't expect you to do them in the first week or the first month. That we spread it out over the course of 90 days because it's a learning experience as you go. You're learning to get better. You're struggling along the way and learning and understanding. That's why the modifications are there. Same thing with here. You know, like you got guys who can do 75 push ups, but they get on here and they can't do any. So now you know what it feels like for somebody who has 100 pounds to lose who's trying to learn how to do a push up for the first time. So the only way you're going to be able to do this is one, lock out your legs. Two, drive the backs of your knees to the ceiling. Three, push your heels that way. Four, lock up everything from here to here. Tighten your belly, tip your, your pelvis bone, squeeze your butt cheeks together like you're on the freeway and you still got another five miles to go. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. What are you doing? Oh, you get out of my way? Yeah! Right? Lock it up, people now. <laughs> and then you need to set a number in your head. You know what I mean? The legs are locked, the pelvis is tilted, the core is strong. You spit on your hands, and then you make a decision, like, okay, I'm going to do, how many can I do? Get down there. We did these earlier. Oh, this ball is so slick. This is really a bummer. So you got two, you got the slightly easier version, right? The duck foot, the duck foot version with your toes are down, your heels up, or you make it harder on yourself, and you get on the balls of your feet. Let's see how this goes. Here's the hardest part. Nice hard stage. And you go. And you go.
numbers. If you can't do any, then chances are you probably don't want to be in the contest, right? So the strategy kind of blows, in my opinion. So um, if you can do more than 10, raise your hand. How many folks are we allowed to be in the contest? Because if we just pull out names, if you can't do it, it wouldn't even be, right? Two men, two women. If you can do more than... Any women in the room can do more than eight? Well, this will be easy to find two women. Two women who can do it. All right. This, this contest just got shorter. All right, young lady, come on. You can do one. That's more than anybody else in the crowd. It's a one-ball contest. Come on up.